How's it going guys? Leon here. So last week I made a video about presentation boards. So it's only fitting that this week I make a video about how to present your boards. So remember in last week's video when I said something like having a really great looking presentation board removes or somewhat alleviates some of the fears of being judged. So having a good looking presentation board is only half of the battle. The other half is presenting your ideas to the jury or your clients the best way possible. You see, the art of architectural presentation is like a sandwich. The presentation board is the ham, bacon, the cheese, lettuce, and mayo, while your oral presentation or discussion is the bread that will hold all of those stuff together. With that weird analogy, I present to you some tips to improve your architectural presentation game. So some of the tips that I will mention are common sense and pretty much no-brainers, but with the pressure of thesis and the fear of failing and making a fool out of yourself in front of strangers, we sometimes lose sight of our common sense and make no-brainer tasks like buttoning your shirt the right way seem like rocket science. Trust me, this happened to a classmate of mine where he misbuttoned his shirt and this definitely did not happen to me. Just to make that clear, this happened to a classmate. <coughs> Tip number one, be prepared. This is the most basic of basics, but if you're a procrastinator like me, you gotta do this at least one month ahead of time. So in procrastinator time, it's like two days. So here's how I prepare for my presentations. I like to prepare the things I'm going to wear and reserve it for that day specifically. And I often plan out the meals I will eat before presentation day. I usually load up on carbohydrates like spaghetti, bread, and bananas. Lots and lots of bananas. Carbohydrates will help your brain function as it should. Also, by eating these basic foods, you will avoid upsetting your stomach, which is the worst case scenario if you have to poop in the middle of your presentation board. It's, it's just horrible. This also happened to a classmate of mine. Definitely not me. Also, before presentation, drink some orange juice because orange juice is found to have some calming chemicals and some other stuff in it that'll help you calm down. But if you're allergic to orange juice, just ignore this last one. The next tip is to tell a story. And I'm not talking about that time you put rubbing alcohol on your uncle's glass of water, unless that is part of your design process somehow. Uh, what I mean is to discuss your whole presentation as if you're telling a story to a friend. To do so, I usually avoid memorizing long detailed scripts, but instead I make an outline of the main points of the story. Kinda like Little Red Riding Hood, you don't have to know the specifics to tell the whole story. All you have to keep in mind is that she has a red cape, and there's a wolf that ate her grandma, and then they got rescued by some macho guy like Liam Hensworth or something like that. So to put this in a design context, for example, first you talk about the site, then you talk about the users or the people. This gives your story a setting, which is the site, and the main characters, which are the users. Then you proceed to talk about the concept behind your design and the various ways as to how you came up with your designs. This is kinda like the plot. Then after establishing the setting and the plot, you talk about the design and various parts of it. Always remember to answer the why, how, and what of your design. Why did you design it this way? How did you come up with the design? And what is your design? So this is the way I present my projects and I'm not saying that this is the only way. There are a ton of ways and I'm most comfortable doing it in a story form. So for reference, I will put links to a few videos of architectural presentations made by famous architects. So you guys could check those out down in the descriptions below. Tip number three is to be passionate. Present your project with passion. So one trick I tend to do is before the presentation, I like to pretend that I'm one of the best architects in the world and that my project is a groundbreaking achievement, a monument to mankind's greatness. That's a great building. Lying is okay as long as it's to yourself. Not really. <laughs> Anyways, I tell myself that my project is great amazing and all those other synonyms and right as i am presenting i keep those things i told myself in my mind so not only does this give me the energy to discuss my projects with passion but it also gives me the confidence that i need which brings us to our fourth tip which is to be confident yeah uh, awkward 
Now I know it's easy to say but really hard to do, but if you're like me who, believe it or not, I was once a shy guy, like a super shy person, <laughs> but I found ways not to seem so shy. There are a few things you could do to emulate confidence when presenting. One thing is to always smile and look people in the eyes, but not too long or else you'll seem super creepy. A maximum of at least 3 seconds per person. That's your rule of thumb. But if you're uncomfortable with eye to eye contact, just look at people's eyebrows, you know, they won't even notice that you are not looking at their eyes. Next tip to seem super confident is body language. To look confident, you need to keep your back straight and do a bunch of hand gestures. The more hand gestures you do, the more confident you are. <laughs> Just kidding. Just do hand gestures whenever there is a point you want to emphasize. Now, practice is the key to hand gestures. As some of you guys may have pointed out in my earlier videos, that I may have used way too much hand gestures and that my hand gestures are super distracting. But lately, I noticed my hand gestures getting less distracting and that is because of practice. So try to keep your hand gestures within this imaginary box in front of you. Also remember to slightly separate your elbows from your body, like so, but not too much or else it just looks weird, you know, like presenting just, just a little bit separated, like so. And there you go. You already look more confident than you were presenting like this. So separate it from your body. Now you look super confident. Which brings us to our next tip, which is less is more. So you know that famous architecture saying less is more? Well, this applies to architectural presentations too. So to do this, try to use simpler, non-complicated words when presenting and explain your ideas the simplest way possible. If you guys watch some of the best speakers, they tend to avoid highfalutin words like highfalutin, which is ironically a word used to describe pretentious big words. So yeah, the irony is not lost in me on that one. <laughs> Anyways, another less is more tip is to concentrate on your main message or the main goal of your project. Do not beat around the bush trying to make your presentation last one hour long. A well thought out 15 minute presentation is always better than a boring beat around the bush one hour speech. So keep it simple and fast. And lastly, use pauses in your presentation. It is okay to pause when speaking from time to time. This is a powerful tool often used to get your audience's attention if used at the right time. Time your pauses exactly and this will give your statements more impact. See what I did there? Master of pauses. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to our last tip which is how to answer questions. So when answering questions, don't just answer the questions immediately. Take the time to think. Also, take deep breaths before answering the question. This will help introduce much needed oxygen to your brain. And then after being asked the question, always say thank you for asking or that's a great question. This is a great stalling tactic to give you more time to think. Okay, so what if you get mental blocks? So a mental block is when you forgot something. There's a difference between forgetting and not knowing. So if you really know the answer but can't seem to remember, just say, I'm sorry, can I get back to that question later? The answer seems to be skipping my mind right now. So it's better to be honest and tell them you can't remember the answer. Now this is the crucial part. Write down the question or remember it and then answer it later. You don't want to look like a liar or you will lose all credibility and people will not listen to you anymore. So keep your promise and answer that question later. Okay, so let's say worst case scenario, you really can't recall the answer or worse, you do not know the answer. So when this happens and I hope it doesn't, just say, I'm sorry, I seem to have missed that in my research. I will take note of this question and get the answer as soon as I can. Then I will get back to you. Thank you for your question. This way you won't look like you just got your memory erased by the men in black. And just like what I said a while ago, follow through. This is super important. Remember to answer this question as soon as you can. Get the email of the person that asked the question or their number and follow up on your promise to fulfill their hunger for answers. And that is the end of our last tip. But wait, what's that? <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to that part. It's, it's just super scripted. <laughs> Anyways. Quick fire round. Pew, 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 pew. 
talking, it's okay to pause from time to time. Confidence is key. Smile and make eye contact. Don't eat foods that will make you poop before the presentation. Bananas! Honesty is the best policy. Less is more. Don't use highfalutin words. The simpler, the better. Concentrate on your main goal or your core message. Do not be afraid. Your instructors went through this too. You are beautiful, both on the inside and the outside. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it. Pew, 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 pew. And that is the end of the quick fire round. And that also concludes today's video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Lian. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace!